Hello, welcome <laughs> to my bathroom again. So, the kit, the little one is playing in the background. I might have to sort of kind of go back and forth, but I'll cut in the video, sort of make it together. Hope, Hopefully, it will be a video in the end and not just <laughs> a whole video with Daddy, Daddy, look, look. We've both got something with our throat, so we're home today. <clears throat> Mine is a bit better, so it's, it's she, but you know, can't be too careful. So, what are we using? This is the first time I've ever tried a full set of Parasso White Line. We're going to use the Parasso Pre Shave also, using the Parasso White in the tube. Um, when I started spread, uh, pressing it out of the tube, it has, it had some residual air or something like that in it, so it kind of <laughs> bursted out. A, a lot of cream, so I'm, go I'm guessing I'm going to get a lot of lather off this one. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. What else are we using? Um, in terms of that, Parasso White Balm for sensitive skin. Every, the entire white line is for sensitive skin. I'm going to be talking about the scent and the performance and the feel afterwards. I need some menthol. I know there is a bit of menthol in the pre-shave. I, I believe someone has mentioned in the videos I've watched. I don't quite know. Um, so I'm also going to be using the Alcalalo Glacial, which is very mentholated and also got quite a lot of burn. It's basically just uh, fragrance alcohol menthol. But still good stuff. I believe there's some glycerin in there as well. No, doesn't say so. What else we're we going to use? We're going to use this Yaki 24mm uh, brush, synthetic knot. Um, nice backbone, but still very soft. This was a defect, actually, that I was one of the first brushes I bought. It was a defect because it has a black, I don't know if it picks up on the camera, but it's got a tiny black spot on the handle and uh, that was it that was enough not to get cast so I believe I bought this for about five eight dollars something like that and then free shipping so it's very inexpensive brush and, and Yankee has an entire uh, defect session for their brushes and down below uh, they've written with red text what is wrong with that specific brush and you can get some very very inexpensive brushes using that so we're going to soak the brush in the wooden bowl or wooden mug. What else are we using? First, before I load up and get ready, I'll just wet the face and have my beard soak up. Two days of growth. So, the other one needed help, I'm back in business. So what are we using today? We are using in a, I don't know, it doesn't pick up. I'm quite sure, Fais is Jean-Lard, or Thais is I'm not quite sure how to pronounce. It's French, so I'm not quite, I'm not at all sure how that's pronounced. But we're using my feather, and it stores perfectly inside this pouch, a leather pouch. Now, I don't do straight razor shaving that often, even though that's actually why I began this endeavor. From the straight razor, if I'd look cool, and that would feel nice, so on. So, this is my first, the first shave that I had was horrible. We're using, I don't know if it picks up, a feather blade, a pro guard. I don't know if it picks up, but it is guarded, it is protruded, let's see. I load it like this, slide it in without using touching the blade. Press both sides, drop spine in. There you go. Nice and ready. For the pre shave, cross of white, as I mentioned. Now, I am going, I do have another straight, which is a clone actually on on the uh, feather SS. Um, 
But I'm also thinking about buying a very little safety razor for travel. We are actually going away this summer for the first time in many, many years. Oh, that's enough. I just got cut off talking to you guys. Um, so I think I'll, I'll do, once I get that, a couple of episodes of travel racing, travel shaving with racers. This The straight razor that I, I have, which is a clone, which is a plastic handle. Very nice, very nice, very good. Um, and then the safety razor, which I'm just thinking about buying now. But that's... So... It's going to sit there. Put something. Cloth. Okay, so let's do some lathering here. Not quite sure what this is called. It's very wet. Let's flick it. Wet and not dripping, let's go get to into town on this. And I've only flicked it twice. Usually I will do it three times, but there's so much cream in here that I think I will need that amount of water that it's in the brush. Right, firstly I pick it up. See, brush has picked up the soap. And then we're going to squeeze it in, and now the lowering process will begin. Now <clears throat> I talk a lot about the same things uh, because I got to think why are you actually doing these videos uh, and it's certainly not for any kind of money because I'm not interested in that what I'm interested in is there's someone out there that I could help with their irritation and their sensitivity and, 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 and sort of help someone Mm, rid themselves of the reaction that I got and I had. Um, my story is similar to many others. Uh, shaving was a chore. Coming up nicely here, by the way. Um, chore, I did it once a week, perhaps once every second week. Did it in the shower with an electrical razor that was uh, sort of... Um, uh, that was for uh, shower uh, shaving and look up on this this is just nice very nice peaks nice amount of soap it's got a green tea scent by the way this soap i will get back to my little story here and an anecdote in a minute um now the way i see it the pre-shave is very heavy scented with, I think it's green tea, um, green tea scent. And um, the soap, or the cream in this case, is slightly less scented. And then the balm, as far as what my nose picks up uh, when I just open the tube, uh, open and smell it, it almost is, is un completely unscented. Oh, look at this. We will be able to keep going if you want to, but the soap is trying, or the pre-shave is drying up. Um, so, back to the story. Yeah, so, I figured out some methods on my own. Um, and I have researched, watched a lot, and then come up with my own that's what I think my own kind of style to. And if someone else out there is, is sort of in the same uh, boat as I am in, in terms of irritation, even when doing this, I I was I got some irritation, and I live with it. 
because I thought I might as well have an enjoyable shave and then get some irritation afterwards then have a horrible shave and then get some horrible irritation afterwards this way actually minimize the irritation quite a bit very thick, very creamy, very nice we'll need some more water to this So, where was that? Yeah. I'm jumping back and forth in the story here is not good. Keeping tails on it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, sorry. Um, yeah. Um, and then I was like, now. Saw a man post on, on one of those shaving forums that was on, I think it was Paul's Wet Heads. And he suffered from great skin irritation. And asked people, is there anything I can do? Is there anyone who can give me any tips? And I thought, perhaps, well, maybe I could give you some tips. But I didn't quite know how to put words on it. Because it was so complex, really, and, and still simple. So, in my mind, it was better to show it. And that's when I did the first video. And I figured, why not show people what I got? And that you can get nice shave, depending on, if you even if you have really sensitive skin, as I would characterize my skin as very sensitive. And you could still have aggressive shave, mild shave, shave with perfume in it. And I'm actually allergic to, to fragrances, many fragrances. Um, so this is actually quite a victory for me to enjoy this without any hassle. That's freaking creamy, this. Again, two days of growth. Lots and lots of soap. I'll show you here what's left. We're not dropping. My yaki ball, which I love. It's very nice, well crafted. So, I don't, as I said earlier, I don't do. Uh, <laughs> I don't do straight razor shaving that often. So if I fail, then that's the case. Here it is. Um, the feather SS shave that straight razor wet it not heated wet it we'll see how it goes I don't know if you can see anything but I hope so because I'm filming this on my phone well most important thing is I'm sorry to say that I can see something Hmm, takes it off nicely. Now, anyone doing straight razor shaving will tell you that skin stretching is the most important thing, and I will too. Most important thing you do. I even do it if I do a regular safety racer shave. You see, now I'm in trouble. How did I do this last time? Now, remember, this being a feather blade, even though it is guarded, it is still very sharp. Once 
last time I did a straight razor shave. There's no video on that. But I had to go against the grain and I just simply I put the blade in at an angle and just added just enough pressure that I actually cut myself right here. Just, you know, I had a weak moment. You know. <laughs> Sometimes I have quite a lot of those. Now remember to go slow. Take your time. Remember So let the razor do the work for you. Let it simply glide over the skin. No pressure at all. Nice slickness, uh, even afterwards, if you put a little water on it, it's very nice and slick. So that's first pass, we'll rinse. Now the scents overall. It's not my favorite, <laughs> but again, it's nice. To my nose. It's sort of nice, fresh, yeah, and green tea ish. Nice residual slickness, still slick, and it had a ton of protection for my feather blade here. Even though it is pro guarded, many would perhaps disapprove on that. Now let's try the soap of the Parasso Green, uh, sorry, white. This is the tube I'm using. And I didn't quite like the scent. I actually ended up tossing it. And then, as time has progressed, it's actually been a year. Almost precisely a year since I tossed that Parasso White uh, soap out in the trash bin because I'm, I thought, I'm not going to use this. Now I thought, it's been a year, perhaps you should just have given it a, more of a chance because some soaps do have a tendency to grow on you. Um, and this one, now, I actually quite like it. Nice, thick. Creamy, got a fresh scent. Now what I did to make my nose accustomed to it and actually started to like it, I kept smelling the pre-shape, opening it up, giving it a whiff um, every now and then. At first it was like, oh, this is like grass, it's like not nice, uh, not the nice kind of grass, you know, very unpleasant kind to my nose. But then it actually came to a point where I opened it, smelled it, it was like, this is nice and fresh. I want to shave with this. Actually, I had prepared and, and in my mind to shave with palm olive today. 
But I went with this because, yeah. I wanted to show you the last kind of razor that I have. There's still one for travel left, a straight razor. Um, but we'll wait with that one. Now I'm just showing you the products when I think of them, doing share product reviews and I mostly only do full sets um, like a complete line and and soap and aftershave now very slick very pleasant on the skin no irritation to detect um, the feather Second pass across the grain. Hmm, how do you do this? I do have a trouble spot over here and that's difficult to reach with a straight razor. I believe I caught myself there trying to get it, but perhaps I'll figure something out. Again, it's been months, actually. Since my last straight razor shave. Now the angle you would like to you want to use many videos talk about this. The easiest way to get this, you start by having it paid ridiculous to your skin and then slide it slightly out and then at the angle until you feel the cutting. This way it won't cut, this way it won't cut. But the middle, kind of tilting a bit to the side, will cut. So be prepared. My first shave in this way. First shave I did was horrible. was with a shavette with a double-edged razor you know the ones that cut in half it was a massacre on my famous face
Thumb is being a good thumb, I know. But in my country, this way of shooting isn't exactly popular. It's all cartridge reasons, uh, foam on the cans. Mary did love the good stuff. Uh, I did cut myself here. Um, so, well, anyway, it ended up being okay, you know. I imagine I had to invest in a safety reason, I did, and that improved a lot, and then I got this one, and now we're here. So tell me, how was your first shave in traditional wet shaving? Was it as long as this morning, or was it just perfect? So, my point was, I did that stupid thing because I had no one to ask. Uh, I didn't know the English terms for many of the tools I needed. Therefore, I didn't know how to search for them. So, please tell me about your first shave. Perhaps you've been in this way, introduced by your father, perhaps. Yeah, would like to know. I'll be silenced against the grain now. And I remember, I was scared to cut myself, my hands were shaking all. I think we're going to stop now. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I'll clean up and I'll welcome you back to the post shave. So, welcome back. Let's see how we did.
not the best shave, but good enough, good enough. Now, this will sting right here, yes, right here. <sighs> well, the soap performed, the pre shave performed excellent, provided very nice protection. Um, the blade performed excellently, provided with a BBS out here, a little bit left here, there it was, that way, but otherwise, completely BBS. Now, I did get a few weepers, nicks, cuts. Quite a bit here. But that was my fault. I, uh, it's been so long since I've done the straight razor shave that I accidentally added too much pressure and then went up. So. Keep adding alum to the places that you overdid it. What else? What didn't we talk about? The brush. Didn't, we didn't talk about the brush. Worked excellent. There's no pressure to do there. There you go. There you go. So we'll watch this alum off. Use plenty of water. Now, if you're suffering some sensitive skin, and I mentioned this in all my videos, start lathering up and wetting up. Always do your pre prepping before shaving on the spot where you're most sensitive. For me, it's here. I always start off by pushing, putting water and, and more water here than I do on the cheeks. Um, what else? Yeah, start lathering up on the place. I usually try to start at my neck because that's most sensitive. And leave that area to shave for the very last. Always notice, perhaps, that I shave this part at the very last of my passes, if I remember to do so. <laughs> um, gentle touch, no pressure whatsoever. And then I dry when I rinse off the arm or whatever. I dry here because it's not sensitive, but I dip here. It's still moist. So we're going to do a bit of a combination here. We're going to flick on some of this burn and then put some of this on. So we'll prepare this one. It's nice and creamy. Balsamo. Sensibly. <laughs> Sensibly. No, first, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. I know. First, I'll call the glacial. Pop this off. eBay. Oh, burn, nice burn. Nice metal. And while that is burning, oh, it's burning a lot. We put on the barn. I don't know if you can see. Oh, get out. Whoa, got there. Hey, whoa, it's a lot. This, that's a bit too much. Nice. 
nice protective feel. And the combination of these two is actually quite nice. There's nothing left to say. Put this back in the box. But to stay safe, stay happy, and my heart's my heart, my heart goes on out to all in Ukraine at the moment. No one should have to suffer through what you're suffering through. And I hope this ends quickly. Have a nice day to everyone else.